All right, what's going on, guys? So in the very last episode, we ended up taking on the gym leader. We ended up bodying Wally, and now we're here. We tried catching another Pokemon here, but in good old T fashion, I ended up killing it. For those of you who aren't uh, caught up with the whole series, let me tell you guys who we have as our Pokemon. <clears throat> so we're going to start things off. We have Manny. He is our pillow swine. We had a pretty good moveset. He was our starter, actually. We have Yoda the Celebi, who continues to literally destroy anything in his path. <laughs> we have Joe Black. Joe Boy is actually pretty good. We need a fire stone to evolve him. And with this being randomized and also items being randomized, I'm not sure when we're ever going to get the fire stone, so he might be a panseer for the rest of his life. We have Sheldon the Dragagle, who is... I'm not gonna lie, he's kinda useless at the moment. The only thing he's good for is putting Pokemon to sleep, because he has no attacks that I can use. I can use Synchronoise, but the thing with that is that it hits everybody on the field, and I really don't want him to be the cause of a death on the team, so we don't really use him too often. We have Bruce, he evolves in four levels, which should be pretty exciting. Pretty good move pool, I mean, he has a lot of special attacking moves, which he's not a special attacker at all, so maybe he'll evolve into something that's special attack. <clears throat> then, we just caught Swirly. Wait, I think we caught this one last round. Last, last game. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. We, oh, we actually did catch this. Yeah, we didn't kill it. We killed the other Pokemon and accident. <laughs> but this one, we, uh, we caught this one. So, yeah. So, we got this, which evolves with a Sunstone, I believe. And, with again, with this being random, I'm not sure when that's ever going to happen. So, you know, before we go out, how about we just fight some of these Pokemon really, I mean, some of these trainers really fast before we move on. Actually, I keep saying it, and I don't want to be overleveled, but we will switch Swirly in to get some levels, actually, whenever I fight my next trainer. And for those of you also who aren't caught up and you're watching this as your first video, everything is on double battles. I not too big of a fan of it, but I can't change it, so <laughs> we're stuck doing double battles. So let us make our way into the Pokemon Center. We're going to heal up really quick. And then we're gonna, I'm not, oh, I got a t-shirt on my Pokemon uh, Rock Smash, actually. Let's see, but Rock Smash, what can I do? You know what, there's something we can do. I'm just curious, who, who on the team right now can learn Rock Smash? I don't know if anybody can. If nobody can, then we're kind of stuck here. Oh, 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 I was not, I did not want to teach it to him. I think we're actually going to teach it to, I know who we're going to teach it to. We're going to teach it to Bruce. The reason we're going to teach it to Bruce is because right now he's a physical attacker and this is fighting, so I can stab. Um, wait. Okay, yeah. So this is going to be good for him at the moment. Oh, this is physical. Wait. This is a physical move. I didn't know if Felsane was physical. Anyways, not going to lie, we're going to get rid of Attract. We don't need Attract. I'd rather have attack moves. Even though attack could be good in some scenarios, I think we're just going to go with this. So now, if you guys are familiar with this game, you guys would go up and leave Mobile City, so on and so forth. But there's something you can actually do on this side. We could actually use the bike for this. So we, can actually... we didn't fight any trainers here, so if any of them see us, then, then we got to have to do a uh, battle. So let's try not to do any battles, because... Is she, is she, did she fight you? I forgot, but we're not going to risk it. So you can come over here, actually. Come into this tunnel. Oh, you have to fight this guy. God darn it. Okay, we'll fight this guy, but there's a rock up here that we can break, and we're going to get an item from a guy. With this being randomized, you know, we may, we might. We, we might. Oh, a Charizard. That's pretty cool. And again, I apologize for the lag. I'm not sure how to get rid of it. It just kind of happens. Sometimes it runs smooth, and sometimes it doesn't, so... I'm sorry for all the lag that's happening. So let's see, Manny and Swirly are coming out. <clears throat> Man, this lag sucks, guys. I'm so sorry for that. I literally don't know how to, like, fix it. It's so bad. Anyways, let's see. We are gonna get rid of that Charizard. And we're obviously gonna switch out Swirly. I'm just gonna switch training for the moment being. Let's bring up Bruce. I, I kinda want Bruce to, to evolve. I really wanna see what he evolves into. Hopefully it's something for the better and not for the worse. <laughs> Imagine he evolves into like a warm pool or something like that. I see wind. Just because it hits both of them. Um, and as you can see, almost takes out Pancham, so. Just because it hits both. 
the flood type. Not sure what that does. Became the same type as... Okay, cool. Well, we're just gonna use Icy Wind again. And then we'll use Bruce uh, to hit both of them. <laughs> so, and the water is gonna kill the, uh, the Charizard for sure, so. Pretty easy, pretty easy. I would like to have a Charizard on the team. All right, I got another debate for you guys in the comments. Charizard or Dragonite? Ooh, Zap can. Only if Swirly. We need Swirly to evolve. Let's get Swirly to evolve. Eventually. And just like that, and Manny actually has another evolution he has to go through as well. So, maybe when he evolves, he becomes something... Heart Stamp. What does that do? Psychic move. Physical is what we need. The user unleashes a vicious blow after it's Q. No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, let's actually, let's actually learn that. We're going to get rid of... I feel like Spatial... Spatial Rend is good, but I feel like Muddy Water might be better for the fact that it hits both opponents opposed to just one. Since we're doing double battles, it's going to be really good. So we're going to have to get rid of Spatial Rend. I'd rather have physical moves opposed to special, considering his specials obviously terrible. <laughs> so, I'd rather have some special moves. I mean, uh, physical moves. Psy Strike. Yeah, we can use that. I forgot how much it does. 100, 100. We're going to get rid of Zen Headbutt. Because Psychic for Psychic. I'm not sure. If, I think... I think she really is a... Is she a special attacker? I believe she's special. So... But hopefully that won't last too long. Sheldon, learn a move. Dragon Rage, finally! He gets a move, and I think this also hits everybody. No, it doesn't. Okay. So, we finally get a move. Alright, so for those of you who are just joining in, I have Lock. For the fact that I watched this guy named Psycho, he plays Pokemon as well. And he, in one of his randomized playthroughs, got Lock on, and then one of them moves like Fissure, where it's a, it has like a 30% chance of hitting, but it's a, like a one-hit KO. So, he got it's the Ice one, whatever the Ice one is called. Like the ice move. Oh, there's an item right here. A maze mulch. Not sure what that does, but we can. No, I don't really care for that one. We can actually do this. Yes, I will break these boulders for you, but. You know, this guy would have went the same route that I went. Oh, wait. Agronite. Does he. No, he doesn't give this to you, does he? I don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe that's like an actual item you get from him. But then again, there's. Dang it, there's more. We already caught a Pokemon in this cave, so if we got an encounter, then we can't catch it. There's this guy right here. We talked to him, and he lost his black glasses. And they're literally, to my knowledge, like, a couple steps in front of him. I think. Oh god, I forgot where they're at. Oh god. I forgot where they're at. I thought they were right here. I could have swore that they were literally, like, right here. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Guys, I, I swear they were literally like, <laughs> I thought they were, I don't know, I, I could have swore that they were right here, are they not? I thought they were right here. I don't have an item finder, I don't think so, at least not yet. Okay, let's just go spam A everywhere that we go, and we'll eventually run into them. Man, I really thought they were, I thought they were, huh. I'm not sure why I thought they were literally right in front. They're not these. Sept Septile light. Nice. Wow. Well, I don't know where his glasses are. I could have swore that they were literally right in front of us. Wait, what's going on? Am I lagging? <gasps> why, why can't I move? What's, what's, what's going on here? Okay, that was weird. I wasn't lagging. I literally just couldn't move. Dang. Alright, somebody's gonna have to tell me in the comments where they're at, because I have no idea. I'm sure you guys can hear me spamming the A button, because I don't know where they're at. I could have swore. Alright, we're leaving. I could have swore that they were right there, like, right in front of them. Let's see what Pokemon we could have caught. Oh, a Dragonite again. I think, see, this is what I was talking about in the last one. Is I feel like what we could have done, What what's, what's happening is... When I randomize this, maybe the Pokemon in a certain area aren't, like, they're randomized, but, like, the, the area has specific randomized Pokemon, if that makes sense. Like, in that cave, there's, like, a Dragonite, and then there's probably, like, you know, a couple other Pokemon. Alright, let's go past you. Let's go past you. Let's go this way. Let's go up here. Let's go through here. 
I feel like that's what's going on here. Now let's get out of here. More Team Aqua Guts. Alright, up here. I'm gonna have to go break this boulder. We could do that fight, but we're not going to. Like I said, I really don't want to be crazy over leveled, so. Some of these fights we're gonna have to skip out on. Once we start getting matched with levels. Oh, look at that. Once we start getting matched in terms of like levels, like when the opposing Pokemon are the same level as me, then I'll start doing more battles. But until then, I'm gonna try to avoid some. I'll probably fight. Okay. I'll probably fight like one or two trainers on the way to and from. But like I said, I really don't want to get crazy over leveled. So. Dang, Zorak is such a good cool Pokemon. Zorak is literally such a good cool Pokemon. Look, how could you not like him? He looks so cool. He is so cool. Dang, I kind of I want to play X and Y or something like that and actually get. I think you can actually get a Zorark in Ultra Moon, Ultra, Ultra Moon, Ultra Sun. Is it Ultra Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra? Something else. Let us use. We have Swirlia. We're not gonna keep Swirlia. I feel maybe Swirlia might not die. Should we risk it? We're not gonna risk it. I can't. I can't have Pokemon die. On me now. Let's trade. Let's turn to Bruce. I really want Bruce to evolve. I really want to see what he turns into. Let's go, Bruce. Let's go, Bruce. I'm asleep. Oh my god. Icy Wind should actually clear. Clear. Should actually kill Goom, to my knowledge, right? No? Okay. Well, it's not good. It puts him under half, so. One last hit. Super power. That might hurt. Oh, not really. I forgot that. What's his face? Manny is crazy bulky. So one more of those and then, well, whatever, we'll just use, he, he's not going to wake up, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we're going to have to, wait, oh my gosh, Gumi done goofed and, oh, wake up, wake up, wake up, Bruce, Bruce, wake up, Bruce, wake up, hell, ooh, I can set up, use hell, and come up with Manny, but Manny's not going to be a Manny for that, so. <clears throat> Bruce, wake up. Wake up, Bruce. 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 Alright, if I get hit with that, like, oh, the first one was pretty cool, that's fine. Alright, so let's just... Hopefully Bruce wakes up. Well, he's not gonna wake up now because I killed Boom, but... It'd be nice to wake up. I don't think I have an awakening. I think I'm actually gonna have to go back and heal out the Pokemon Center. Let's go Swirly. Trilly is going to be like level like 90 before we get to evolve it for the fact that I have no idea what we're even going to find. Like, wait, do any of these wake up my Pokemon? Poisoning, Enhance your beauty. Aw oh, man, I don't think we have anything to wake up. What does this do? A fertilizer for growing berries. However, it appears to be unsuitable for the soil and the horn region. Yeah, I don't think we have anything to. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go heal. When's the next time that we get healed? Now nah, we're gonna have to go heal. So I, I don't want him to be asleep. I want to be able to use him. Unless we just make him wake up in one of our battles. But we'll just go heal. Unfortunate. It wastes time, but it's whatever. <clears throat> This is why we got the bike, so we can just kind of speed through all this. Alright, so let's entrust this lady with our Pokemon for a second. Put him on this machine, have her heal them really quick. I love the incorporation of like, through each Pokemon game, they decided to like, show like, what Pokemon you had, and then they were like, oh, you know what, let's show the Pokeballs that they're in, and stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah. I was thinking about doing a Switch playthrough, but none of the Switch games are that fun to me. Um, but I was thinking about doing that. I was thinking about, I haven't played Arceus yet. Arceus. I haven't played, oh, there's a Pokemon. Oh, wait, this is technically a new encounter. Oh, this is technically a new encounter. We haven't caught a Pokemon on this route, but hold on. Is this route the same as the next one? Doesn't matter. Does not. No, I ran freak. What is wrong with me? Oh my gosh, guys! I I I swear to God, I don't do this stuff on purpose. 
Is this a different route? Are these the same routes? Tell me this is a different route so I can let's catch a Pokemon. Okay, this is a different route. Route 112. So we can at least still catch a Pokemon. Guys, oh my god. I literally don't understand why my IQ level just keeps going lower and lower every single video. I literally am at like 6 brain cells right now. I don't understand. Get out of my face, Nate. Wait, she holds us up? God dang it. I went back for nothing. Okay, take this too. Be, be a stone. Strength? Okay. Actually, we need those. Man, that sucks. That sucks. But we can catch a Pokemon here. Dang, we could have Magby. Magby's actually pretty cool. See, Route 11, Route 112. Okay, yes, we can catch a Pokemon here. Let us go see who our next. I swear I won't run or kill it this time. I'm gonna spam Pokeballs. And. Oh, we got a break soon! I actually love breaks soon. And we're actually gonna use this on the team. I'm not gonna lie. Cloud9? Okay, cool. Yo, Brakeson? Yo, who do you guys use for X and Y? Because I'm gonna be real with you. Alright, Pokemon, let's be careful we don't press run. We're gonna switch into Sheldon, put it to sleep, and snap over. I used Finnegan because literally Chespin looked. I didn't even. I'm not gonna. I'm not like a competitive, competitive kind of. I'm not like, yo, I need to have a strong starter. I was like, yo, whoever the coolest looking starter is, is who I'm gonna go with. So I went with Brakeson. Well, I went with Finnegan, who turned into Brakeson, who turned into Devlox, and I think like literally 90% of the world went with Froakie. <laughs> Greninja's pretty cool, but honestly, I thought Brakeson, Fire, and Psychic, I thought that was super cool. Let's put it in, let's try a Premier Ball, or Great Ball, whatever. I'm, I like, so when I do my playthroughs, I like to have each of my Pokemon in a different Pokeball. It's just something I always do, but I, I'm limited to Pokeballs on this game, I don't really have any Pokeballs. So, we caught ourselves a Brakeson. I actually want Brakeson on the team, I'm not gonna lie. We might get rid of the... Uh, of our Swirly. It's like Swirly won't be that much of like a... You know, her, her, her evolution isn't guaranteed to where Brakeson's is. Yes, so Brakeson... Man, I wanna call it Foxy or something like that, I don't know. I don't know. Let's name it... It's a, it's a male. So let's name it. You know what? For, oh, for what's like a what's like what's like a fox character in any in any movie ever? I don't know. I do not know. I don't know why this is the hardest decision of my life. What should I name? I'm gonna name it. What do I name this? I literally don't know. Let's name it Peter. I beats me why. Beats me why. Just. Peter. It's Peter. No, I don't want it to be trapped for the box when I actually want to use that. I didn't like it to lose or nothing. We're going all the way back to the Pokemon Center. I'm sorry, guys. But it must be done. Alright, let's not run into any Pokemon here. <clears throat> Ooh, a Star Piece. I might as well break all these rocks. I keep finding items. Uh, why can't I move? Oh, I know why I can't move. See, because it's not like it's uh, the connection between my controller, I think, and the PC. I feel like we've been playing for like 20 minutes, and I've done literally like nothing. <laughs> so let's try to get to the next town. Go in the Poke Gym, Pokeball, Poke, go in the, go in the thingy thing. Alright, so we're gonna switch out. Don't get mad at me, alright? We're gonna switch out. Okay, so Frost Breath, Teeter Dancer Cycle, and Crab Hammer. That's not a terrible Musa. I mean, you know, she she she's pretty g good, special and uh, and like you know, physical. And I feel like I can use these. I feel like this would be, yeah, we're yeah we're we're trading her for sure. I mean him. Sorry. Let's get rid of. I'm sorry. It has to happen. It has to happen, Sunkern. I'm sorry. You got to go back to the thingy thing. So now our team consists of two fire types, who will soon both evolve actually, except for Panzer. Panzer won't evolve until I get a fire sense in him. But our Brakeson will evolve. Our Peter. Alright, now let's make our way to the next the next spot. Because we have to Is it Flannery? Is Flannery the next gym? Who's the next gym? Not sure. We haven't broke this rock yet. Let's break. Hello. Let's break this rock. Maybe we'll get another item. Hopefully we do. The more items, the better, huh? 
Yeah, see, we keep getting items. Should we just break all these? I feel like we're gonna have to fight a Pokemon. Let's, let's break all these. Let's see what other items we can get. Oh, and we're fighting a Pokemon. Let's see who this is. Oh, see, see, I'm telling you guys. Yeah, so I think it's like that. Like, this is a randomized playthrough, but I feel like they're just random in terms of, like, each, like, it's random Pokemon, right? Like, they're, they're not the same Pokemon, but in each area, you have specific Pokemon that you can catch. Specific random. I guess this will kind of confirm our theory if it's another night. Spinarak! Spinarak's actually pretty good. Ario, Ariados, whatever his name is, is, is pretty sick. I miss when Pokemon were actually cool. They used to be pretty cool. Let us see now. Is this going to be an item or a fight? Okay, Starkies. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. At least now we know that we can get items and stuff like that every single one. Alright, let's go here. This guy is a trainer. We're, we're gonna try to avoid... Ooh, let's see who this could've been. If it's another Brayson. It is! See? Yeah, that kinda sucks. I thought that this would be like... Random, random, random. Like, completely random. But I guess not. I guess... Not. Maybe I didn't do the settings correctly when I was when I was modifying this. So we're gonna try to avoid some of these pupils here. Oh, this is this is the new area. We can catch another Pokemon. Let us see who our next encounter is. Our newest team member, or a possibly box item. Ooh, Hypno. It's a Hypno. Hypno's pretty dope. I'm not sure if we're gonna use him, but we're gonna catch him. Just because... You know, if any of our Pokemon die, we could just kind of replace them for Hypno, so... Let's catch Hypno. Dang, Hypno's Sprite is actually pretty dope. I've, I've never seen it. I don't think I've ever even used a Hypno ever at a place, like, ever in my life. Alright, there we go. I believe we have one more Great Ball. But, oh, no, we have like nine of these things. I thought we had two for some reason, I'm weird. <clears throat> Let's see, hopefully this is a first try kind of catch thing, because I don't want to sit here forever and do this. Gigantic knees, dude, this guy got gigantic legs. But if no, let's try it again. Another great ball. All right, stand the Pokeball. Spam B if you must. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Oh, he woke up. Alright, let's try to catch him without him being asleep. I mean, maybe it might work. I'm sure that the chances are lower, but he's only rocking one time anyway. So, I mean, okay, he didn't rock at all. God dang it, we had to put him back to His moveset doesn't look all that great. But it's okay, you know? We don't judge a book by its moves. We judge a book by its later moves. <laughs> let's see. This is literally the only thing that this dragon is good for at the moment, is putting Pokemon to sleep. Actually, now that he has an actual dragon type of that, well, it only does 40 damage every single time, so I guess it doesn't matter. I was gonna say we can get stabbed, but that's not good. God damn it, this, <laughs> this freaking Hypno keeps popping out of the ball. It's so annoying. Okay. Let us see. Stand the ball. Blah. Stand the ball. Blah. Yeah, this. Okay. We're not wasting all my Pokeballs on this guy. Let's try it again, and if not, he's going to be great for experience, I guess. I'm not going to sit here all day and fight with this Hypno for him to stay in the Pokeball. I could attack him, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather not... See, I made a promise to somebody in the comments, right, that I would stop killing Pokemon. I didn't necessarily promise, I just said, like, okay, I'm just going to spam Pokeballs for now on instead of killing Pokemon. So, look at this. We were just using Great Balls. Now that we use the most common ball in the entire game, catch it. Can you believe that? Okay, well anyways, we got a Hypno. What are we gonna nickname it though? What's a good nickname for Hypno? We're naming it Archie. We're naming him Archie. Actually, we're gonna name him Spencer. I feel like Spencer is a good name for him. Just cause like the way he looks. He kinda looks like a Spencer. Yeah, he looks like a Spencer, for sure. See, I have so much trouble thinking of nicknames. If you guys would just comment and 
give me some nicknames. We wouldn't have this issue. <laughs> I'd have nicknames for days. For days. Okay. I think there's like two of uh like unavoidable fights here. Yeah, I, I don't think we can. Oh wait, this is a new area. I can catch another pocket monster. Let's see what Thug landed is. Ooh, Ekans and Latias. Not bad. Mega Latias and Ekans. See, yeah, I think that if a Pokemon has a Mega Evolution, they, they automatically are given the Mega. Which is pretty fun, actually. It kind of gives it a little bit of a twist. Uh, let's use Crab Hammer on Ekans because I feel like Latias is going to die with 1k, honestly. What does that do? Oh! We just got breaks in. We cannot die. Please do not hit breaks in. Don't, don't, don't do it. Okay. Okay. Crunch, no. No! Breaks in, no! Please don't die, please don't die! Oh my god, Peter's dead. Peter freaking died. Oh, we just got Peter, dude. I literally was, I was looking forward to using Peter. And I guess I wasn't paying attention to Peter's level. And... Now I'm about to go and level all my Pokemon up to level 40 and kill every single Pokemon because they killed Peter. Literally, I liked Peter. He was better than Swirly. And I'm pretty upset about that one, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, I really, really wanted Peter on the team. That really sucks. I'm pretty sad about that one. Well. Peter died. Dang, man. Well, we're gonna have to just trade him off at the next Pokemon Center. So I don't feel like going all the way through the tunnel and all that back. Just. No! <laughs> Dude, what is up with this Latias? Why is this Latias so strong? Oh my gosh. Why is Latias so strong? Okay. Look, we're gonna have to put this thing to sleep because I'm tired of this. We're putting him to sleep. And we're gonna use. Dude, I don't even know if I wanna leave Bruce in here. I literally don't want Bruce to die. We need to see Sam. Wait, he's psychic type. Frick, what do I do? Tell Singer? I don't know. Whatever. Alright. Manny, Manny can't die. He's our starter. If anything, Manny can't die. He's literally our starter. Our starter can't die. Our starter has to be there the entire time. Please kill it. Just. Yes, thank you. Oh my god. I didn't know that Bug type was stronger than Psychic, but now I do. And look at that. Sheldon gets some levels. Oh my gosh, we literally almost got bombed. Thank you, Manny. Ice Shard? What does that do? Oh, is that like the one that attacks consecutively? Oh. I don't think we need Ice Shard. I feel like all my moves are actually decent enough on Manny. Joel Black going up the levels. Yoda leveling up. Man, that thug. Dude, he almost bodied us. Well, it's a good thing that we can actually heal now that we're outside of the battle. I don't think we need. We don't we don't have much to heal. But we can. Do we do we have anything? Wait, do we eat rare bone? Ooh, I can sell that. Um Honey, what does honey do? Oh yeah, I forgot like you smear that on like trees and stuff. So we don't have anything to actually heal us right now. Oh my gosh. So we uh, Do we risk it? Do we do we try? Oh wait. Do these berries give us health? <laughs> I know Oran berries. Oh, we have Oran berries. I forgot about those. We actually have Oran berries. Hold on. Who needs health? Because we have Oran berries. We have two Oran berries. Who needs health? Ooh, Manny needs health. I know this is going to make him like not like us anymore, like as much as he probably does, but the extra 20 might go a long way. Yo, who is that? That sounds crazy. But we can't catch any Pokemon here, so... Let's see. Oh, that is that a Reggie? I think that's a Reggie, actually. No, but Vile Plume. Ooh. Vile Plume. Vile Plume is actually not bad. Let us not kill this. Let us put it to sleep. Vile Plume. I'm down with Vile Plume. Who was that other Pokemon? Was that Ghastly? I thought like that was Ghastly. I think Vile Plume is better than. Well. Oh wait, is this gonna kill me some dragon type? Oh no, okay. Oh, because I'm poison type as well, that's why. 
Oh, it doesn't affect. What is wrong with me? Oh my gosh. Okay. Can we get one attack off? Dragon Raid only does 40. How much health does a Bioplume have at this level? I'm not sure, but we're not going to risk it. Let's use a Pokeball because it did us wonders last time. We're using. What is it? Uh, great Balls, and they couldn't catch it, so maybe, maybe a Pokeball. Confusion? Oh, wait. Is that going to hurt? Yeah, that, that, that's super effective, but it doesn't hurt. Alright, let's stab these Pokeballs. Then we go from there. I want to attack it. But I don't know, like... Oh, that's, that's a pretty cool move. I... Don't want to... Kill it, and all my Pokemon are pretty high level. Should we go for a Dragon Range? I feel like I feel like Vileplume has more than 40 health. Like it's a fully evolved Pokemon. There's no way it has like three using Dragon Rage. This only does 40. Let's see if this works. Yeah, okay, see that's what I was saying. Yeah, Vileplume, yeah. We're chilling. Alright, now if you can take one more hit shot. Actually, no, we're not risking it. We are not risking it. Let us trade it. To Jorabwai. I was gonna go into Bruce, but he's a fighting type and Wild Plume has psychic type moves, and I'm not, I just don't want to risk it. Desolate Lane. Alright, if this does a lot, it shouldn't. Okay, cool. Let's catch us a Wild Plume with a Pocket Ball. Yeah, this vibe does not want to get caught. As long as none of its moves do anything like crazy, crazy like damage, I think we're good. We're high enough level to where we shouldn't have to worry about any of its moves at all. Stay in the freaking Pokeball vibe. Alright, okay, that like does like nothing. Does it always hit two times? Alright, let's actually try different Pokeball. Let's see if we can use a great. Plus the Great Ball matches. That's another thing I like to do is like make the balls match the Pokemon. So like in Ultra Moon you can get like every freaking ball. So I like to make the Pokeballs match. This only hits twice, does it not? Or I think it has a chance to hit more than twice, but it never does. I don't know. I just want to catch the Vibe Plume. <laughs> well, I have to stay in the ball. To stay. B, B, spam B, spamming B, B is being spammed, spamming B. And look at that, you spam B, you catch any Pokemon on the planet with a great ball. Alright. Thank you, Fileplume. And you know what? Ooh, Dragon Rush. Oh, but that's for Brutes. I thought it was for Sheldon for some reason. But this is physical. <laughs> Let's actually learn that. Hearts down. Alright, and the only other one that is special. Rather have physical type. Because he is a physical Pokemon. Even though Muddy Water, Muddy Water is good because it hits both parties. Or not both parties, but like both Pokemon. But I'd rather I'd rather have something that actually does damage. Yes, I know what we're gonna name this thing. Because we are naming the oh. Nope, not that. Stubborn. 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 You are stubborn. Stubborn. Alright, now let's get out of here. Let's go into the very next level. We have to fight this guy. Tell me about this guy. We're at 111. We already caught a pretty much. We have to fight this guy. Gosh. Darn it. it look, he's all looking at me. I don't think my Pokemon are healthy enough for this right now. Yeah, see, Peter, Peter, why? Why Peter? <gasps> Peter, why? Peter dies. Peter, no. No, Peter, Peter, Peter. We're bringing out Yoda. Yoda, and we're gonna use Bruce. Bruce and Yoda. Bruce evolves in one level. I'm very excited for that. What if he just turns into like Machamp? <laughs> or not. Ooh, this, not gonna lie, it's a good team. He has a good team. Mega Gengar and X-Ball. Good team. 
Dykestod was like one of my favorite GMT Pokemon for a super long time. Okay, Rock Smash on Xbox, that'd be super effective. Don't think I have anything crazy strong against that Gengar, but we use Power Whip because I don't know. Magic Coat. I literally have zero idea what that does. Kill it, first try. Even though I know it's not going to, just kill it. Dang, not very effective, but that's what it does. Oh, yeah. Roar? Who are you bringing up, bud? <clears throat> Joe Boy. So they should both die this turn. I don't know if I have anything to actually hit. Seed Flare. Boom. See that? Very Please don't kill. Okay, I don't know what that does. Oh! <gasps> No one will be able to do something. Oh my gosh, Gengar would probably attack. At least we take out. It seems like Gengar doesn't. He hasn't used an attacking move yet, so. Oh, I'm so excited for Boost Evolve. I'm so excited for Boost Evolve. I think after Boost Evolve, that's kind of going to end this episode. This episode's been pretty long. So I think that's going to end the episode after Boost Evolves, or once we make it to the next. <gasps> Wait, what is he doing? What is that? What are all these moves? Lucky Chant from Critical Hits? Okay. Alright, goodbye, Gengar. <laughs> Not very effective. Dies. Nice. 1000. Let's go, Brew. Brew's gonna evolve. Brew's gonna evolve. Brew's gonna evolve. Brew's gonna, Brew's gonna, Brew's gonna evolve. And Joe Boy, level 30. Too bad Joe Boy needs a fire stone to evolve. They've been sick if you would have superpower. Don't kill. That's not gonna kill me at all. Yeah, that's not gonna kill. Rock Smash should actually be a one-hit KO. Yeah, his defense is he's he's literally a glass cannon. Like he hits kinda strong, but nah. Alright guys. Bruce is gonna evolve. Let's see what Bruce turns into. Let's go, Bruce! Bruce is evolving. Let's see. Let's go, Bruce. What is Bruce evolving into? Let's see if we can guess it before it comes out. Nah, I can't guess it. There's like literally 700 or something Pokemon in this randomizer. Who do you turn into? Are you kidding me? <laughs> we have a Bulldozer, and I think he evolves in like his late 30s or 40s. Oh my god, I thought we were gonna get something amazing, but at least we have another evolution that we can go through. We got Bulldozer, and his stats are as great as Machops. Well, and he has Snow Warning. Oh my god, that is not good for him. Okay, gosh darn it. Well, I think that's actually gonna end it for this playthrough. Oh my gosh, I lied. Let's talk to this guy first. We're gonna end our playthrough inside our like little tree because I think he's gonna. Does he give us this one? I think he just kind of gives us this one. So let's have him learn. Super secret base. Take this. Secret power. Yeah, I think, uh... Let's see. Yeah, see, I think he, like, shows us and stuff like that. And then we're good. Yeah, he just kind of gives us his head, so that's cool. There was this thing you used to be able to do. Not You probably still can't do it. I'm not sure in, like, an emulation if you can do it. But there's, like, these, like, little codes and stuff like that. And you used to go to fight like three or four trainers each day, or like three to five. I don't know. I know, I know three for sure you can fight three of them. Yay. We're not going to name it Yay. We're going to name it T. All right. And when I'm happy, I say T. Anyways. And there was these three trainers, right? And you can fight like Chanseys and, and not Chanseys, uh, Blissey, whatever they're called. They have a listen to Chanseys. And they would give you like an insane amount of EXP, like. Like crazy amounts, and you used to be able to level up to like level 100 decently fast. But the thing is, you can only fight them each one time a day. So, yeah, you can fight five of them. Um, so, I used to do that, obviously, like a lot of people did. And I would just level up like crazy because it's like the only game for a while until I think X and Y came out. Or was it before? Or another game came out. Something that we're waiting for another game. And, and yeah. But, anyways, that's going to end it here. I'm sorry that this was kind of a boring episode. Not much happened. Uh, but in the next episode, we're going to fight the next gym leader and actually get some election and do stuff on the next round. So, just a recap of what happened today. Uh, 
we caught Brixen. It got bodied on its first battle. Uh, but that's entirely my fault. And we caught a couple of Pokemon. We got a Hypno. We got a, a, a big flower. And that's really it. I'm pretty excited with where we're at in the next episode. I hope you guys will join me. Be sure to subscribe as this is a series. And you guys will be updated every single time that, you know, I upload a video in this continuing series. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like. Drop a comment. Leave me some nicknames. Because I, I clearly am using the last of my two brain cells to figure out the, the nicknames that I want to use for my Pokemon. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. This is me. Peace.